Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, it has been a friggin' eternity since I have done and posted a video. Um, so today, if, uh, if you couldn't tell by the signs already, we are climbing a mountain currently. It's apparently a very twisty road and yeah, so. Anyways, uh, if you're new, welcome to the channel. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much for putting up with me, and and I definitely appreciate the patience. So I did try doing a vlog earlier this year. I had camera issues, I had mic issues, and then I had computer issues. So unfortunately, I didn't actually get anything. Um, it was actually a big group ride I went on. I think there was somewhere between like 75 and 100 bikes. It, it was an awesome time, but anyways all that did not pan out um figures uh, i'm hoping i don't have any issues with this one i hope my mic is also working correctly because the last time i tried doing this it was not so anyways uh today we are yeah climbing a mountain actually uh it's called mount Greylock. it's in uh what is that? i think adams mass massachusetts uh, and this is essentially right where I started filming is right uh, there's a gate there that's th this parks open and closed um, The gates open from like I think May April April through October so the end of October beginning of November the gate actually closes and you're Don't think you can actually get up here uh, at least not with a vehicle You can still hike it. There are a bunch of hiking trails so you can definitely still hike up here, but yeah, so we are, uh, I've got a new seat on the bike. It is a, uh, it's called the Bagster seat. And so far this seat is leaps and bounds beyond what the factory one was. It is just so much more comfortable. It's actually got something you can lean against if, if you have or have seen a, a Suzuki 650, SV650. Um, the, the factory seats just got kind of, it, it like slopes up a little bit like this. This actually has like a, a, a stop, like a backrest on it. So it is just, it is so much more comf comfortable. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll pull off at some point and, uh, and show you. Um, I did, I actually picked up a new jacket. This is a, a mesh jacket. So I could at least have something to wear when it's hot out. Because my other one, yes, it flowed air, but not very well. So I, I wanted something I could at least be a little bit cooler with. And, uh, and you know, at least have some form of protection on. Um, I also got a new pair of riding shoes, too. Shoes or boots. They are um, Sidichi Podios. And uh, again, I'll show you those when uh, tr trimming, trimming some trees, trimming some trees. So, yeah, they're uh, a little bit better than what I had. I, I don't remember what I had. They they were a, a riding shoe, but they didn't really offer that much support and. They were kind of soft on the toe with the shifter, so I just wanted to get something that, that was a little bit better um, and a little bit safer. So, like I said, they're uh, uh, Sidichi Podio shoes. They happen to be on sale. Uh, ju just actually picked them up yesterday, so this is my first time riding with those and the jacket. Uh, if you saw one of my other videos, you'll see I did get a new helmet too. It's the Sidichi Strata 2 in the Forge Carbon. Um, so far, I, I'm really enjoying this helmet. Um, there is one thing, if, if you see some of the other reviews uh, that people have done of this helmet, at certain speeds, like highway speeds, um, every once in a while there's like this weird kind of whistle. I, I'm assuming it's just the air flowing over one of the vents a certain way, or if you turn your head sideways. I don't know if it picked it up, but there's a whistle, so. 
But it's only when you turn to the left, you turn to the right, it doesn't do it. I don't understand. But this is a uh, really nice little ride up here. I'm hoping my phone doesn't die. I'm at 38%. Yep. Yep, of course, I did not bring a charger because I didn't think I was going to need one. Um, this ride, it, 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 just to get here before even coming up here, it was like an hour and 15 minutes. And then uh, what, about 25, 30-ish minutes um, from where you actually turn on the road to start heading up here to the time you get to the top. So, but uh, anyways, I guess uh, Mount, like I said, this is Mount Greylock in Adams, Massachusetts. Apparently, from what I read, because I did look a little bit, it's uh, the tallest peak in the entire state of Massachusetts. Uh, 3,000, 3,200 feet, 32 and change, uh, something right around there. It's a little over 3,000 feet above sea level. Unless I have the 2 and the 8 backwards, then it's closer to 4, but I don't think it is. I think it's like 32. So, uh, again, y'all can Google it if uh, you want to know what the exact elevation is up at the peak, which is where we're going. Also, one thing. So, it's actually, it's free to come up here, um, but once you get to the top, to actually park up at the top, apparently, if you're a Massachusetts resident, it's five dollars and if you're an out-of-state resident it's ten but close to the top there's little pull-offs like that one there and those are free to park in doesn't cost anything to park there and I guess it's like a thousand feet from the closest pull-off up to the top so really you could come park there at one of the, the uh, pull-offs for a, a trailhead and and just walk a little bit so I'm um, not trying to, but I'm probably just going to go cruise up, um, show you guys, because there, there is a tower up there that I, I don't know if I'm going to pay. I don't know if I'm going to pay to park, because I think I might just run up there, um, you know, let you guys see the top of it, see the view real quick, and then I'm probably just going to end it after that, and, and I'm going to head back, so... But the, uh, the Suzuki's doing well. She's doing good. I just did an oil change on Saturday. So. So she is good and ready to go. Um, yeah. I have been looking into getting either an airbag jacket or possibly an airbag backpack. Um just to try to be a little bit safer and, and be a little bit more protected should something happen. Um, I say that although there's definitely times where I've gone out in just a t-shirt. So, so there is that. Uh, but yeah, I would like to actually be, be a little bit more protected. Um, the problem is, I was thinking about a jacket but I don't know how that would work with the backpack. Um, they also make like the vests and stuff that you can wear under your jackets. But some jackets they won't work with. Um, so there, there's that, you know, which kind of puts a little bit of a problem. But, so I'm looking at getting a jacket. Didn't think they made backpacks. I said it being kind of a smart ass to somebody and they were like, oh, they make those? I'm like, I don't know. And I looked into it and yep, sure, sure they do. Bad news. Uh, the one I saw was like 800 bucks, but again, the jackets are in that same ballpark, um, at least for the one I was, I was looking at and considering is, uh, it's like 900, 950, something along those lines, um, and also with those airbag things, they actually, man, this is awesome looking through here. Oh, sorry, I'm just uh, adjusting that up a little bit. Hopefully you guys can get a better view. Uh, it is really pretty up here. I like this. 
And so anyways, like I was saying, with the uh, the backpacks there and, and the jackets, uh, the backpacks and some of the jackets are what they call smart jackets. Uh, and, and with those, what it is, is you don't have a tether, so there's nothing to like attach to your bike. They all rely on sensors and G-force meters and computers and batteries and yada, yada, yada. So my understanding is, is they work very well uh, and they were basically, uh, originally they were used for like MotoGP. So they have a lot of MotoGP technology to them. And I, I don't know. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that uh, versus having a tethered one. I mean, both have their pluses, both have their minuses. There's, there's really no way, like, it, nothing's perfect. Oh, road and arrows. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh check, all right, so they, they have camping here too. Campground parking. So all right, I, I guess you, you can park there for camping and go hike and camp. I, I, I don't know uh, how they have that set up for camping. If you can just like find a spot or if there's designated a designated camp, I don't know. Again, I've never been up here. This is my first time. Uh, and so far what I've seen, it is... It is beautiful if you like this kind of thing. Although, speaking of that, so... The good old Suzuki SV650, which... I have zero complaints about this bike, especially being my first bike. I have no complaints at all about it. Um, if you can see, I got... 30 or yeah 30 3781 miles on it um, so I've, I've definitely got some miles on it and I do love this bike uh, I've been contemplating getting a new bike or maybe not new maybe used one but getting another bike so I don't think I would get rid of this. I would still keep this because this is great. Um, I, I use this. I'll commute to work on this, and uh, it's it's fantastic. So I've been thinking about actually getting maybe an ADV bike. Is one of my ooh ooh. Uh, it, it's something I've been considering is uh, an ADV or maybe like a sport tour um, because it's one of those things you, you don't know till you start riding you, you, you just kind of yep I'll like that uh, this is what I'm going to do with it and then at least for me anyways once I started riding I was like oh I'm like I actually really kind of like you know what we're just gonna We're not at the top yet, but just so you guys can can get a look here. Uh, again, we're not at the top. Um, once you do get to the top, I mean, this view is just incredible, especially during the fall when you have all the leaves changing colors. I'm sure this would be awesome. Um, so anyways, like I had mentioned with the seat, uh, this is it. This is the Bagster seat. It's got, I, I went with the blue so it matches the frame. So, so the piping, the stitching, and then the uh, embroidered SV logo match it. If you can see it, I don't know how well it'll pick it up, but it says Bagster right here on the back of the seat. It is, it does sit up a little bit higher. Uh, it's, it's more flat through here, whereas the factory seat actually kind of slopes down towards the tank. Uh, there's a lot more cushion on this. Um, which uh, which I really like uh, as far as I know 
they do make this seat for other bikes. I don't know offhand exactly which ones they have it for and which ones they don't. Um, but I know that this did come highly uh, recommended by the Suzuki SV650 community. People seem to really, really love this seat. It is absolutely worth the money. Uh, it was like a little over 300 bucks shipped. I mean, it did take a while to get from the time I ordered it to the time I received it was uh, a month and a half. Uh, yeah, about a month and a half from the time it was ordered. But then again, these are like custom made. They don't just, it's, they, you know, have it in stock. So um, you can do different color stitching and piping and, and the logo. You can get it with a logo, without a logo. Uh, one thing, at least on the factory seat, there's like, oh man, so pretty. Um, there's like a, a loop, like a handle that runs over the back of the seat. Uh, this one does not have it, but they also have, there are different styles of the seat too. So again, if, if you're thinking about it, I definitely recommend going with an aftermarket seat just because they are so much more comfortable than, you know, a lot of the factory seats I have sat on. So, so yeah, highly, highly recommend it. Um, Pin. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I wonder what the uh, what the turns would be like up here. Does it look like there might have been on the map, but you know, maps aren't. Maps aren't always, you know, you can't tell everything. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of jumping around in this vlog, uh, just trying to fill you in, wh whatever comes to mind. Um, none of my stuff is scripted. Like, I don't think about anything uh, before I do it. I just kind of jump out there and and wh wh whatever comes to mind, I just start kind of rambling on about. So. I thought this would be really cool, make a really cool view and, and something a little bit different. Um, like I had said in one of my previous videos, I do try to go somewhere different every time I do a vlog, so that way it's not the same thing every time. So most of my stuff is going to be at apparent, apparently mountains, because uh, this is the, the second one. The other one I went to, which was the last actual vlog I posted. Um, which again, I'm not sure what happened with that. I ended up missing footage somehow. Uh, that was Thatcher Park. Uh, that is another mountain. Yeah, and apparently there's like a lodge up here or something too. So anyways, um, mountains uh you know if, if i get a nice road along like a, a creek a river or something like that uh lakes ponds whatever whatever i can find that is hopefully an aesthetically pleasing background oh shit i don't know how well we're going to be able to see up here look it down actually we'll just Oh, we, yeah, oh, see? All right, so, it's, uh, th this is the thing with, with this. This mountain's high enough. There's a cloud right here in front of me. Um, we are actually up in the clouds up here. What is that? There's a big quarry sand pit something down there. So, this is, this is awesome, um, and actually one of the things, uh, I'm going to look at this, so we are here, uh, we're actually very close to the summit, apparently the summit's like right around the corner, um, so if you guys want to look at this, um, yeah, I don't know how well, hopefully it picks it up on the camera good enough, um, y'all can pause it and read it, it's a little bit of history, uh, what you can see down here, farmland, Hoosick Mountains, oh, it's a limestone quarry. Alright, that, that's what that is over there. 
limestone quarry. So, so we'll uh, take a look at that. And yeah, we are up in the clouds right now. It's it's definitely a sight to see. Uh, also, one other thing is, I guess apparently up at the top, like a, there's a little tower thing up there, which you'll see momentarily, apparently, because we're super close to the top. Um, you can actually see like, what I think four states, three or four states up here. Uh, Cause this is math. So I think it's New York, you can see, Vermont, Mass. I, I, I don't know what the other one is actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Cause I'm like, oh man, that is absolutely gorgeous. I might actually have to come back and go, like, take a whole day and hike here, because, man, the views that are up here, absolutely incredible. All right, totally not disappointed in this. So glad that I decided to come up here. See, look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. Like I said, we're, we're up in the clouds. I don't know if it's picking it up, but there's clouds actually blowing past that tower right now. I'm assuming that's a cell phone tower. Oh, 34, here, here we go. Uh, welcome Mount Greylock Summit, elevation 3,491 feet. So, yeah, Mount Greylock Summit, pedestrians drive slowly. All right, so I guess this is the lodge here. Staff only. Oh yeah, Bascom Lodge. All right, so that's that's the tower thing. I guess you can actually climb that and go up there. Um, dude, it's crazy. That is uh, a, a veterans memorial, uh, the veterans memorial tower, some something like that. So we're not actually going to be able to see too much up here. Um, but anyways, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed some of those views. And what's this, end of the end of the parking lot up here? Yeah. So that's going to do it for today's vlog. Uh, really hope y'all enjoy it. I was going to stop right here for a minute, for a quick hot minute. All right, you know what? Here we go. Back there, cause, cause she didn't like sitting right there. Here we go. How about here? All right, there we go. So again, uh, like I said, this seat, it's actually got the stop there. Fantastic. But anyways, I'm uh, gonna stop rambling on. Uh, hopefully, looks like we're still recording here, so that's good. Um, Hopefully everyone enjoyed this, enjoyed the views, and uh, hopefully I'll have a lot more coming soon. And until the next one, everyone ride safe and uh, take it easy. Bye.